Construction plans come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and levels of detail. In this unit, we will explore the various components of construction plans, what you will need to focus on when reading plans, and how you will use those plans. As a HERS modeler, you'll be working with your HERS rater and builders to provide them an energy index for the homes they're building. If you have a copy of the plans before the home is built, you'll be able to model the energy use of the home from the plans and project the energy index for the builder even before construction begins. This is called a projected HERS rating. It helps the builder understand whether they'll be able to pass the required energy codes and provides them with a report to file with their plans, which may be required to obtain their permit. If they're interested in using the HERS rating to qualify for an incentive or green program, the projected rating helps them understand any changes they may need to make to qualify for the program, while those changes are still on paper, at the least expensive stage of construction. Building plans have several components, and the HERS modeler uses every one of these. So if the builder asks what parts of the plans you require, ask for a full set. Every plan is drawn to a specific scale. A quarter inch or eighth inch scale is very common. A quarter inch scale means that every quarter inch measurement on the plans will be equivalent to one foot when the home is actually built. So a one inch wall on the plan will be four feet long when the house is built. Whenever you receive a set of plans to review, you need to verify the scale. This means that you would measure a section of the plans that has a printed length and determine if that printed length equals the length that you would calculate based on the scale. Do this for several measurements that are both vertically and horizontally shown on the plans. Printers and copiers can shrink, stretch, and skew drawings, so you need to know the true scale of the plans before you can depend on any measurements that you might need to make. Buildings can and do change during construction. A window may be added or removed, a window may change to a door, a room may be lengthened or shortened. A lot of decisions are made as construction progresses and the plans are not always updated. Once the house is under construction, it's a wise practice to have your HERS rater take the plans to the site and verify that the house was built according to the plans. Have your HERS rater document any changes because you'll need to update your projected rating with the new information that he or she finds on site. A site plan provides a bird's eye view of the house as it will be positioned on the building site. This page of the plans helps you understand the orientation of the house and its windows. The site plan may show trees or other structures that could also provide valuable information about potential window shading. However, be aware that while many times these trees do exist on the site, it could also be that they're just on the plan for decorative purposes. The elevation is the side view of the house. There should be a front, rear, right, and left elevation. But houses are sometimes built mirrored to the plans, so the right elevation may actually be the left and vice versa. The elevation drawings are a good place to see where the windows are located in reference to their overhangs. Since these are also to scale, you may be able to measure the overhang depth as well. The elevations will normally show the roof pitch information, as well as provide nuggets about foundation construction, ceiling and roof line information, and siding details. The floor plan is likely where you will spend most of your plan review time. This is a bird's eye view of the house with the roof and any upper floors removed for each floor of the house. You'll use the floor plan to calculate the conditioned floor area of the house. For HERS ratings, the floor area is calculated using the exterior dimensions from outside to outside, including the exterior wall cavity area. This may not match the conditioned floor area that's listed on the plans because real estate professionals and architects may measure areas differently than HERS modelers measure area. The floor plans usually list ceiling heights as well which you're going to need to calculate conditioned volume of the house. Volume is area multiplied by height. For HERS ratings, the height is always measured from the inside of the structure, from the top of the finished floor of the lowest conditioned space floor to the finished ceiling plane of the uppermost conditioned ceiling. 
This includes the height of the interior floor joists between the levels of the home. You will also see indications of vaulted ceiling types on the floor plans. You'll be able to count the number of bedrooms in the house from this view as well. The number of bedrooms is important, and it includes any room that's at least 70 square feet that could be used as a bedroom, one that has an egress window, a window that could potentially be used to escape from the house, and a doorway to the main body of the house should be counted as a bedroom. The plans may list the room as Greg's office or exercise room, but if the room could potentially be used as a bedroom, it should be counted as one. The number of bedrooms indicates the number of people that may be living in the house and is used to calculate things such as water usage, interior lighting usage, cooking and dishwashing energy usage, and more. The number of occupants is modeled as the number of bedrooms plus one, which assumes that there are two people using the master bedroom. This floor plan gives you a good look at where the envelope walls are located, and following those walls, you'll find all the doors that are part of the envelope. New HERS modelers usually catch the front and the back doors, but tend to miss the door to the garage and the door to the unconditioned basement. The envelope wall review will also help break up those walls based on what's located on the other side of the wall. The wall to the ambient outside air will have different thermal characteristics than the wall to the garage, which will not be experiencing the extremes of temperature or wind, rain, and snow that the ambient walls would experience. The floor plan also helps with the determination of floors that are part of the envelope. Many times they are drawn as dotted outlines on the floor plan below the frame floor. A plan section is also called the chainsaw view because it provides a look inside a wall as if it were cut open with a chainsaw. From this view, you can see how the walls are constructed. You can tell what R value and maybe even the type of insulation that's planned for the exterior wall and what areas are planned for insulation. If there are knee walls, there will likely be a section view of the knee wall areas, and they can be quite helpful for determining wall height and actual envelope location. There are pages in the set of plans that have a lot of writing and various schedules listed. It's a good idea to be in the habit of reading through all the details, notes, and specifications. You'll run across requirements and details and hidden nuggets of information about the house being built that you will need to create your energy model. It's not unusual for the information found in the details to conflict with the information found in the drawings. That information then becomes something you need to clarify with your HERS rater or her client. On these notes pages, you may find a door schedule and a window schedule. These schedules provide great information regarding the expected size and efficiency of the doors and windows, and they can provide a cross-reference to the floor plan showing which windows and doors will be installed where. The electrical plan will let you know if there are any ceiling fans planned for the residents. And the plumbing or mechanical page is where you'll find details about duct runs and exhaust fan locations. After that quick run-through, you should know that a HERS modeler may generate a projected rating from a set of plans. That rating is only a projection of what the HERS index may be if the house is built to match the plans. Of course, the actual structure and components will need to be verified and testing performed before a certified rating is confirmed. You also have an understanding of the various components of a set of plans and the items of interest to the HERS modeler for each of those components. A plan review is not something that can be rushed through. As you've seen, there are lots of items to review and lots of items to discover in a full set of plans.